Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a holiday inspired makeup tutorial using liquid eyeshadow, something a little bit different. And I'm going to be talking about one of the crucial steps most mature women miss in their makeup routine. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, we're going to go into a beautiful holiday makeup look really highlighting a crucial step most mature women miss. I see this because I've done so many different makeup applications and lessons, and most women that are mature completely forget this step, don't know about this step, don't think it's gonna really matter, so we're gonna get into that. I have to put on, I'm very dehydrated, my rose lip balm. I am gonna slather it all over my lips so I can talk to you and not feel like they're gonna crack. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm going to use Elemis. This is their dynamic resurfacing pads. I just wanna kind of do a little resurfacing. It's very mild, very gentle. I've been using these on my skin. I also, I'll kind of go back and forth between Dr. Gross and the Elemis resurfacing pads. I don't overdo it. These smell incredible and it just really refreshes my skin. While this dries, I wanted to tell you about a new cleansing balm that I had bought months ago, the cleansing balm from Agostina's Batter. You know, I was experimenting with their rich cream. I bought my second bottle. I loved it. I bought it on the Sephora sale. I don't remember if I bought this. I don't know if I bought this on Amazon or where, where I bought this from, but this cleansing balm is really interesting. So I've been telling you about the Elemis balm forever. I love that cleansing balm. They have so many different ones. Rose is my favorite, but this is very different. My skin almost feels like glass after I wash this off. It's a different feeling than the Elemis. It's moisturized, but it doesn't feel like, it's very hard to explain. You'll have to, if you like balms, if you like cleansing balms, you, you need to try it because it will last you a long time. I don't use that much. And then it just melts everything off. But my skin feels like really clean and glass-like afterwards. I don't know, it's, it, I was very surprised. Now, since we are ready for the moisturizer. I'm gonna be using the Agostina's batter that I bought. I really like it. It's a very interesting texture. It goes into the skin very different than I thought. It just like melts in, you're gonna see. So you can see that it just like melts into my skin. It's not greasy. It says rich cream, but it really threw me off because I don't feel like it's heavy. I mean, I just feel that it's just so moisturizing. I really love it. We're gonna go into my first step that I always do is with my eye primer. This is going to take away all of that darkness on my eyes. And I want this to really just give me that perfect canvas to be putting on eyeshadow. Today we're gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow or actually a liquid eyeshadow from Armani. I've been experimenting. I wanted to kind of try some new things and liquid eyeshadow, there's not that many options out there. So I really wanted to see if I could find one that I really liked. Eye primer is on, you can see now I am set up for success because I took away all of the darkness. Now the two liquid eyeshadows that I have are these Armani, they, they're numbers, they don't have a name, which is kind of a bummer. I kind of love names on these. This is 36M, and which is the brown, and this one is 11S, which is like a champagne-y color. Interesting. So I bought these two um, in the Sephora sale, and then I had bought, I bought one Chanel liquid eyeshadow right before I went to Napa. And it wasn't really the color I wanted. It was one that's the only one they had available and I wanted to try it out. Interesting, doesn't really move as well as I thought it would, but I came back to buy the ones I really wanted to. And this is number 26 Quartz Rose. And this one's 22 Rayon. So I don't know, I'm, the jury's out still for me on these. What, what I think I might do this, the Chanel one for the top, on the top to give me a little extra, we'll see. But first, this might look very intimidating. This is a matte, I wanted matte liquid eyeshadow and I wanted to see what it was going to look like and how it would go on. So what I do is, I just put it in the middle, just like I show you on how to do your powder eyeshadow. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna work it. You can see it was moving, right? Obviously, my eyelids move. They fold when I, when I look up. So you want to work this in to your eye. This is 
I personally feel more of a finger application than it is a brush. The brush is going to, from what I've experienced, just take it all away. I want to really just really be able to work this in where I want it. So yes, it's darker, but I like that. This is going to be a little bit more of an evening holiday look, something different. Again, ladies, you don't have to use this dark of a color. You can go lighter. You need to experiment. You need to jump in the makeup pool not say, Ooh, I can't do that and sit on the sidelines. That's not fun. That's not, that's not the way that this should be going in our forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. I want you to dip yourself into the pool, not just your toes, because that is, you know, you don't want to sit on the sidelines of the makeup game. You want to get back in and don't tell me that you can't do it because of X, Y, and Z. You can definitely do it. It's just that you're limiting yourself and that is never, never a good look. So you can see I'm basically shearing it out on my eyes. So I don't have to use it fully concentrated. You can if you want to. There's so much range with this. I'm still working with these. I just got them and then I lost them in the move and then I found them. So I've been kind of sporadically being able to utilize these new liquid eyeshadows and I'm very excited about it. So I think that, you know what, let's just stick with Armani and do the 11S and see what happens when I put it over. I want to give some lightness. You know that I like that. I just like a little extra so I get that nice sheen. So I have that base of darkness, not too dark. I really did shear it out a lot. And then I'm putting a little bit on top and I get to work with it more. You can't really work with powders like this. So I think this is kind of fun, especially doing just something a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll really work on the eyeliner to kind of bring this look together. We have a little bit of the brown, then we have the champagne mixed together. It's still approachable. It's still something that's a little bit different. You can create whatever look you want to. If you wanted to just stay really neutral, you could go with the Chanel ones that I have here that are really just soft and just really pretty if you want more of that ethereal look. But I wanted something that had just a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my dark chocolate waterproof eyeliner. I'm going to take my Shuamora eyelash curler and we're going to curl the lashes up. Lashes are curled. This makes a huge difference. And we're going to go right into this eyeliner. Now, what we like to do is here on the channel, we, as in all of us, we like to pull up. So your lashes are up now. You're gonna look at that last lash and you're going to push up. So we're going to push up like this. Actually, you know what? This is a rounded tip. As you know, my pencils do not sharpen as a point, but I'm going to give it just a little bit more. And remember, if you have a completely full top like this, it's not going to be able to sharpen. It's like caught and then it's going to ruin everything because there's too much shred in here or little uh, scraps from your pencil. Make sure it's always clean, put the top back on, and then you're going to be able to get a nice, beautiful, rounded, see, perfect. So we're going to just take this eyeliner and we're going to go right to the base of the lashes and we're going to just flick up a little bit right there at the end. Always able to just kind of work with your fingers again. What I really liked lately is that I have taken my short smudge brush, if I can find it, this I will drag across my lid and it's going to really give it that beautiful seamless just more of a smokier look if you like that. So you can see just going across the lid like this is so beautiful. And especially if you have blue eyes or if you have lighter eyes, you're gonna create that darkness right at the base of this lashes and it's going to really define your eyes and it's gonna pop that color. So that's something to really think about. Put the eyeliner on as close to your lash line as possible. Don't worry if you have shaky hands or if it's all over the place, that's why you take this smudge brush and you go back to it and you just kind of fuse it out. So any mistakes that you could have possibly made are completely gone and it's like magic. So I'm making this a little bit thicker than I normally do. I'm going to do the same thing on my left eye. I think the eyeliner looks pretty even on those sides. What I'm gonna do also, I can take a little bit of the eyeliner, something fun and a little bit of a different trick and I'm going to just do some little shading underneath my eye in this corner here. Did a little shading, 
kind of fun, something a little impromptu, if you will. Let's go in with our volume up mascara. We're going to really give some beautiful lash to, or mascara to our lashes. This is going to grip all of your lashes. If you have a hard time with those baby lashes, you have thinning lashes, like most of us are getting. I have like some nice beautiful holes sometimes, and then I have to like piece them together. This wand is going to be like your best friend. It's like a comb. So you can see, I go to the base of my lashes. Again, don't go to the tips, ladies go to the base, like you're holding it, it's your support right here, and then you're gonna wiggle back and forth and go straight up. So it grabs the lashes, as you can see, it's grabbing my lashes, and then it's pulling up. So all those like little, little tiny hairs are getting it. If you have a big fluffy brush, such as like a fiber brush, it's gonna just roll over your lashes. You're never gonna get that base where it's almost looking like you're giving yourself an eyeliner, and then you get this beautiful, beautiful winged out lash. So you'll see what I was talking about right in this middle part here, my lashes seem to be shedding and there's like shorter ones. What I'll do is to, to kind of make sure that they're also included, I will turn my wand like this and I will make sure that I can grab and make it look a little bit longer so it doesn't have like this big dip in my lash line. So we're on the part where this is where I see a lot of mature women skipping the face primer. Now you can use any face primer that works for your skin. I have reformulated my Fiercely Smooth to be that burst of hydration, that priming, that really smoothing, blurring the skin prior to putting on your foundation, your BB cream, your CC cream, whatever you put on, or maybe you don't put anything on at all, but you have this beautiful canvas. And that's what I see a lot of women just skipping and then wondering why their foundation doesn't look really beautiful or it doesn't glide on the skin. You have to be prepping your skin. This is not a moisturizer, this is a primer. So you would have to first use, just like I did, whether it's a serum, whether it's a moisturizer, so your skin is hydrated, it's ready for the primer, and then it will be ready for whatever medium you wanted to do for your foundation. So I'm going to just use two pumps. I just basically dot it on little four points there. I might have a little bit left and then I'll take it on just a little bit lower. And then I just work it in to the skin and I will let it just set up for a second. And then you will feel your skin feels completely different. It is like that hydration, that lightness, but you know that now when you put on your foundation or whatever medium you want to do, it's going to glide on. So I'm going to do my brows first right now while I'm just making sure that this is in. I'm going to be using milk chocolate and I'm going to, I have actually still some of those gray brows in my right brow, I have like two. And I'm going to just cover those just a little bit. I really love this wand. I made the wand a little bit longer for you so it would grab a lot more brow than my last wand. Also, what I like to do is I find it to be a little sparse here on my ends. So I will take the brush to the tip and I will just put the pigment filling it in at the end. As you can see, if you have sparseness right here in the lateral part, that's what I do and I'm good to go. So my Face is primed, feeling primed. And I'm going to do my concealer in light, but I'm also going to be using my Just Peachy. I have basically tried to get by without using my Just Peachy and it is not really cute. So I need to color correct first so my concealer doesn't have to work that hard. I'm just doing a little bit right there where I mainly have most of my pigmentation. And then I'm going to basically work this in just with my finger lightening it up, looking beautiful, going in with my creamy concealer in number two, which is my light. And I'll just go right over. I'm just gonna roll it like this. I don't need too much. Come down and hit that spot. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna just take my foundation buffing brush and I'm going to just buff it right into my under eye area, which really just looks very airbrushed. So now I'm gonna be doing my BB cream in lights. Now the eyes are darker, but once you start putting the BB cream on and your lips and your cheeks, it all kind of comes together. It's a little bit, you know, kind of like not balanced when you have like neutral skin and no color on your lips, no color on your cheeks, and you have like this little bit more of a smokier eye. BB cream is on. I have a new microphone that I have here so you could hear me better and 
It is definitely heavier. <laughs> I'm not used to wearing a microphone, but I wanted you to have better sound here in the closet. It was a little echoey. So we're gonna go into the creme brulee. This is going to warm up my skin. This is my bronzer hybrid. I did create this for mature women because I wanted it to be something that wasn't going to be over the top for you when it came to a bronzer. I wanted it to be cut with the cream so you basically feel comfortable by putting this on. I just swirl it with my blush brush and I work it into my skin just where I would put a bronzer. But I don't have to feel like, oh my gosh, I just put on so much. I look like, what's going on? I just have this big streak. It melts into the skin. It has shea butter in it. And I wanted it to be one skin for you. I didn't want it to basically just sit there. So this is just something that's going to really warm up my skin, give me just a little bit of contour and give that color that I really need. Because during this time of year, I get lighter and I do need to have that warmth of my skin. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of my Ballerina Rose and I'm going to go into this top color and just give my cheeks that kind of rosy, just kind of flush look, not too bright, something just really, just pretty that will complement this eye. Next, we're gonna go into the lips and this is going to be something very, neutral. I think we're going to just do, let's go in with silk. This is a very nude pencil. This is going to be really pretty on the lips. This is the ultra natural lip liner. You can see it gives me a little bit of a line, but it's not like I have a massive lip liner on. We're going to go in with pretty smart. This is going to be just a nice light pink. So it's very pretty, very subtle, but we're gonna take a little Manifest and Glow, the golden, kind of pulling in the eyes on the lips. I just love that it adds just that little extra, but it's not over the top. Now, I wanted to show you, I do have number 12 from Armani. So what I showed you was 11S, which was this more of the champagne color. This is a lighter, this is almost like icy pink. This is more of a champagne-y yellow. And then this dark matte brown, which was 36M. So what I wanna do is I just wanna see, maybe it might be a bad idea, but I just wanna see what this looks like if we do tad lighter on the top. Don't know, it's evening, so could be good, could be bad. Oh yeah, now it's perfect. You know what also? I could also put this on the inner if I wanted just a little bit more lightness right in here. Put it in, sparkle. One of my last steps, ladies, is going to be just taking a little Nikita banana and setting my under eyes. And I'm going to actually use a foundation buffing brush because I don't think I have my powder brush here. So this will have to work. So we will take down the hair. I got these new little vintage Oscar de la Renta. They're really quite beautiful and large. And I was like, when I first got them, I thought, oh no, are they too big? And I thought, you know what? No. The big hair, the big earrings, a beautiful holiday look. We could probably brush this out a little bit and spray it up. Think about maybe a little black dress, maybe a champagne dress, maybe a glittery dress. For the holidays, I'm using Orbe Super Fine Hairspray. All of his stuff smells incredible, incredible. It brings me back to the 90s when I went to his salon and we were doing this whole like production for this jewelry company and he was there and what a nice guy. I love his products. I've been really buying them lately because I love how they make me feel and how they're just so beautiful. And this is the look. It's just a beautiful holiday look, playing with some liquid eyeshadow, maybe something you don't have in your makeup bag, maybe you wanna try it, maybe you want to incorporate it into all of your other products. I think it's fun, I think it's different, but it, a little bit of a learning curve, but I wanted to bring something you know, different to you and also emphasize that primer, ladies, make sure you are priming your skin. Moisturize your skin, prime your skin, because you're going to see your skin look completely completely different, exactly how you want it to look when you use the right primer for your skin type. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed that. Until my next video, I'll see you later.